Hey, what's going on guys? This is Adam from GHL Mastery and the next video in our high level masterclass series is a really important one because you started your go high level agency, you've been making phone calls, you've been doing your prospecting and you finally have a client who said yes. So how do you create their sub account? How do you load in snapshots and do all of those types of things? We're gonna be covering that in this video. First, we're gonna be showing you how do you actually create a sub account completely from scratch. And then in another video, we're gonna be showing you guys exactly how to do it using the SaaS configurator and how to actually set all of that up so you can automate the process when you're using the high levels 497 SaaS Pro plan. So let's dive in, let's go and create a sub account from scratch. All right, guys, let's set up our first brand new sub account. We're gonna go through the manual process of creating and setting up a sub account. Now, it's important to note that if you just bought high level, high level has already created a sub account for you. So you've got your agency level account and you've got an agency active operational sub account created. The way that you find that is very, very simple. You're just gonna click here and you'll have one account right here. And that is gonna be your agency account that you can start to build in, load snapshots into, and start selling high level services or whatever the heck services you are providing and offering to your clients. So there's already a sub account created, but I'm gonna show you how to create a sub account from scratch using high level. So first things first, at the agency level, we're gonna click over here to sub accounts and we are going to click create sub account. Okay, now you've got a couple of options. You can create from blank or you can create from any one of these pre-built snapshot templates from high level. Um, I've been around high level for a long time. I've seen all of these, they're not very good. Um, you're gonna learn a lot more about how to develop and build in the rest of this course. So I would recommend, unless you already have a snapshot that you've gotten from somebody, um, start with a blank template. This is gonna help you understand the baseline foundations of everything if you're brand new to high level. That being said, you've got your own snapshots. So if you have a sub account created already, if you're brand new, this is probably gonna say zero. But what high level gives you the ability to do is create a snapshot off of an existing sub account that you can then repurpose, reuse, and create yourself a SaaS product essentially. So if you have any snapshots that you create, this is where they're gonna be. We'll cover that in a different video as well. If you have purchased a snapshot or been given a snapshot from anybody else, like us for example, you're gonna find those in imported snapshots right here. But for today's example, I'm just gonna keep it really simple. We're just gonna create a brand new blank sub account. Okay, so we're gonna go and we're gonna, I'm gonna add the account manually, but I am gonna show you what you can do here. So uh, if I search for, let's go Tim Hortons, I'm Canadian. We can look at a couple, let's just say this is a Tim Hortons in New York Island. You can click here and it'll automatically create the sub account with the address information, all of those types of things. So if you're working with an existing customer that has a Google business profile, you can just easily look them up and then add the result and it will go and create and auto populate all the information that you need to create the sub account. But we're gonna go and we're gonna add this account manually. So what we're gonna do is put in our name and our email address. And then you're gonna talk, you're gonna list the business name. Now this business name right here is going to be the business name that displays right here. So this is what's known as the friendly business name. Now, whenever we're doing snapshots or demo accounts, uh, we always label it Z so that it drops it to the very bottom of the list um, and doesn't get in the way of our operational accounts. So we're gonna call this one the GHL Mastery Master Class Demo. Okay, you gotta give it an address. I'm pretty partial to 123 Fake Street. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna say that 123 Fake Street's in Calgary and in Canada. And we're gonna choose a business each. We're a software company and we're in Alberta. Give it a fake postal code, phone number. Obviously you can see that I've done this a bunch of times and I'm using a bunch of fake information. So don't really worry about that. Website, nope, not that one. You can leave this blank. The time zone is going to default to your agency accounts time zone. So whatever time zone you set up in your agency company settings is gonna be the default time zone if you leave this blank. So if you're creating this for a customer, you're gonna to wanna to select which time zone they're in. In this particular case, I don't really care. So we're just gonna go ahead and click save. 
and as you can see it has defaulted to my time zone all right so now the sub account has been created and there's a couple of things that you should probably know about at this level okay so obviously any of the business information that you need to update can be updated in here you can add their social profiles in here as well um, there's not really much else that you need to know about this um, the SAS mode here if you're on the SAS plan you can manually create a sub account and then turn on SAS mode after the fact so we personally do this a lot because we do a lot of custom development for all of our clients so we'll custom build the software first and then we'll turn the SAS mode on and add the rebilling and all of those elements there so if you want to enable this if you're on the 497 plan it's just enable it you're gonna to have to add an admin user at the account level first before you do this. Um, and then once you've done that, you can search for the client um, Stripe ID and connect them to this and turn on your rebilling. By default, there will be usage limits, but you can also set usage limits at the account level. So if you wanted to come in here and say, hey, you know what, I sold this for $97. So it's only a one user profile versus, you know, I'm selling this for three grand, we can have up to 20. You can limit how many users they can have and you can limit how many contacts they can upload into the CRM as well. So this is really just a SaaS mode feature for the sub account where you can limit certain elements of the system so that they don't have access to them. Okay, rebilling. Now, this is really, really important. If you are not on the 497 plan, you can only rebill at par. I think par equals like 1.05%. And so basically you're just covering your cost of your Stripe fees at that point. If you're on the 497 plan, you can turn on rebilling and you can mark that up however much you want, um, which is a really, really great function and feature. Reselling, do you want to resell any of these other features inside the system? So. Um, if you want to leave them on, leave them on. And these will display to the customers when they log in to say like, hey, there's this awesome thing here. Um, and they can choose to sign up for that. The way that these plans work, uh, we went over that a little bit in the uh, in the reselling section here in the, one of the first videos. But you can mark all of these up. So these are going to be your costs that high level is going to charge you every time this gets turned on in a sub account. You then take this and you mark it up to be whatever you want it to be by default. These are always going to default to your reselling settings here, just to be aware. So if you wanted to give somebody a little sweetheart deal, you can do that. If you wanted to charge somebody more, you can do that as well. This is where any marketplace apps that are connected um, will be. And then you've got your advanced settings. Now these are your rate limits for the sub account when you start. So you're always gonna be limited to 100 SMS per day when you create a new sub account and you're gonna be limited to 250 emails. This is here, it's annoying at times, but I will tell you that it is here to protect you. We've had some nightmare stories of other high level agencies who had free accounts. People get in those accounts, get a phone number, and they go and they spend 800 to $1,000 on messaging, which by the way, can happen very quickly um, if you're using large list sizes. So this is here to protect you to kind of warm up that account. So it's gonna limit you to $100, $100 SMS a day, that's gonna slowly ramp up and up and up and up and up until you've kind of cap, well, you, you, you can't cap it, but um, it's gonna start low. So these are default limits right out of the gate and it's there to protect you. It can be a little bit inconvenient, especially if you're running a DBR campaign of some sort, but it's important to understand that these limits do exist and they exist there for a reason. So there you go, guys. That's kind of the sub account setup. When you're ready, you can go switch to sub account and you're off to the races. You, this sub account is now ready to go and ready to be built in, which we will be doing in some of the next videos. But the next one, we're gonna show you guys how to set up your SaaS configurator so that you can automatically create some of these accounts for you. Take care. Hey guys, I hope you found that video useful and helpful for you getting your company set up in high level and getting your white label started with the high level ecosystem. Now, if you're just starting out your journey in the high level ecosystem, or maybe you're even an intermediate um, or consider yourself an expert that just wants to know a little bit more about the high level platform and how you can leverage it, I would encourage you to go and click the link in the description below this video and hop into our GHL Mastery program. What do we do inside of our GHL Mastery program? Well, we have five calls every single day of the week, Monday, through Friday for two hours a day where we actually help you get into your system, help you build, help you troubleshoot, and just overall 
help elevate your overall skill set on the high level platform. So if you're interested in getting hands on every single day support, plus a couple of bonus goodies, snapshots, AI systems, the like, then go ahead and click the link below to join our GHL mastery VIP group. And I promise you, you will learn more in one month than you will in six months doing this on your own. We will see you in the next one. Take care.